and we will go on to the next question to be answered and debated. OCT angiography is essential for clinical practice. Pro, Nadia Wahid. Um, so have you noticed how the cons have won every single time? <laughs> this election is rigged. I just want to start out by saying that. <laughs> So um, I'm, I'm tasked here to convince you that OCT angiography is essential for clinical practice. Um, and so, you know, when we talk about OCT angiography, the comparator really that we're talking about is, is dye-based angiography, fluorescein or, or ICG. Um, and, you know, my argument that OCT angiography is essential is not based on the fact that OCTA is much better than fluorescein or ICG, although study after study after study have shown that. Um, because really you can't rely on something being superior to make the argument that it's essential. We know that spectral domain OCT is much better, for example, than time domain OCT, but you can see fluid on time domain OCT. That doesn't mean you, you need a spectral domain device. Um, by the way, just a check, show of hands, how many of you still use a time domain device in your clinic? Oh, no one. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Um, nor is it based on the fact that when you get fluorescein angiography, there's about a 20% chance that you'll end up with an image like this if you have photographers like mine, uh, and my photographers are really, really good. Um, and once a dye circulates through the system, there's no way of acquiring the image again, which you do have the option of doing in, in OCT angiography. Um, or uh, sometimes you end up with images that are somewhat hard to interpret, something like this, um, which generally leaves me feeling like this. Doesn't happen with OCT angiography. You can actually see what you're looking for. Um, so, you know, really my argument on, on OCT and geography is based on the fact that I really, really, really don't want to have an experience like this again. Um, I've had patients get anaphylactic reactions in clinic. There's been one time where I've had to call a code, um, and, uh, and that took 10 years off my life, and I don't ever want to repeat that experience again. Um, so if we wish, want to visualize the blood vessels in the eye, like all of us do in our regular retina clinics, we want to look at macular ischemia, we want to look at CNV, uh, why would we want to put our patients to the risk of getting an invasive test uh, and of something like this happening? In fact, I think it's unconscionable to put your patients or yourself, quite honestly, to the risk of, of this invasive procedure when you have a safer, non-invasive alternative uh, that you can turn to. Um, so. I hear from many of you as you're thinking of, uh, you know, upgrading your OCT devices, and we talk about, you know, whether it makes sense to put in an OCT and geography module. And I think all of us kind of understand this at this point, that it's time to trade in our old dye-based, invasive, unsafe kind of modality that we've used um, to visualize the blood vessels for something that's faster, that's more efficient, uh, that works uh, better, or as, at least as well. Um, and, and that, most importantly, uh, keeps your patients safe. Thank you very much.